Okay, we're going to be talking about three by three matrices and how to solve these um, problems. So here we go. First off, let's have a sample problem. As you can see here, we have a system with an X, Y, and a Z, and it equals a value over here on our right. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to work about to solve these. All right. With the calculator. The calculator will look like this when we're through. This will be, in a sense, the inverse function. That we want, we want to find the values that make these numbers come up. That's um, that's why it's going to be kind of the inverse of this function right here. So the way we do that with the calculator, we're going to use a calculator. That's why I have my picture of use the force loop here. All right. And uh, here we have these inspired calculators. So the first thing we want to do is make sure you go to add calculator. All right. And then you'll see this little red button featured here. Um, it's going to open up a window, and we want to choose this one here, which is a matrices, it, right? And I want to click on it once I hit that and hit enter. And then I want to make sure that my numbers say three by three. Okay, this needs to be a three by three. And then what I have to do is I have to go type in the numbers. I type in the numbers that we had in our original problem before, the five, negative six, three, negative two, seven, seven, negative six, negative eight. And then I need to arrow out. Once I have these typed in, I arrow out. That's what this arrow here, red for here is. After I get them all typed in, I arrow out. And you see the negative one? Kind of got ahead of myself just a little bit. I do that, but I have to hit the, put the negative one up here as an exponent. Hit the little exponent button. See, it just popped up right over here, pointing at it. And then I'm going to hit the negative button. And then I'm going to hit one. So enter negative one. Okay. Don't hit enter. Have that at negative one. Right. And then I'm going to sense, I need an arrow out. And I'm going to hit times. I need to put a times. That's what that is right there. And I need to go back into the matrices button. Because now I need to make a 3 by 1 matrices. All right, a 3 by 1. And once I had that, I'm going to hit OK. And now I type in what the answers were. It was negative 14, 47, and 15. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to arrow out. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And it will tell me, it will give me this here, 5, negative 2, 4. So what does that 5, negative 2, 4 mean? Well, it means x is 5, y is negative 2, and z is 4. That's what it means. That's how you do this matrices. So you have to like plug these numbers in here in the first matrices. Make sure you get out, do the exponent negative 1, because we want the inverse function is going to give us this answer, times this value right here. right? And that's how we get the answers. 